Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is online to help um, and last video today we're going to be looking at how you can install Power FTA with port 587 open. Yeah, frequently I've been getting some messages on my social media and people asking me to make a video or to try to show them how they can actually use port 587. Um on their power MTA server. So this is another script entirely which we're going to be making use of port 587, not 225 this time around. This port, um, this script, this particular script is a new features, is a new features that just came in, it's a new update. So I'm going to walk you through the process. If this is your first time on joining my YouTube video, can you do it by hitting the subscribe button and do like the videos, uh, like, we all know Power MTA, but if you are new to Power MTA, Power MTA is just a, it's just a protocol, an SMTP private server which allows you to send unlimited emails every day, as you can see on your screen now. This is a particular, um, this is for a client and it's making use of you to get results and he was able to send unlimited every day. So we just delivered this SMTP yesterday and see, he was able to send 300 and out of the 300,000, um, so 337,000 was delivered. The reason why the others are not delivered is two things. One is that invalid emails, your bandwidth. So that's why I used to advise people, make sure you work on your bandwidth. Get your validator before you start sending your mails. So if your bandwidth is much, the SMTP server will not deliver it. One. Two is that um, the traffic, when you send too much traffic, some will be on pending list. And before we finish this video, uh, it will definitely increase from this 37,095. So guys, um, you know the requirements and the first requirement which we're going to be needing here is the VPS, which is the set of seven. So you can get your VPS on OVH cloud or you get your VPS on uh, Contabo. So after this, you need a domain. So you can get your domain from um, Namecheap or you get your domain from anywhere. So once you get your domain ready and here's your, you have your VPS ready, the next thing you're going to be needing is ByteVice. So ByteVice is just a, a, an SSH client which you can actually use to connect your VPS together and make your setup of your SMTP on it. Okay guys, so when we have all this ready, I have my VPS and my domain ready, so let's get to work. And uh, this is my ByteVice and I'm going to be using this. There's an upgrade that I'm going to do later. So the first thing is to log in. So you put in your IP address which you just got from either Contable or OVH. So here is my IP. I'm going to be using this. Okay. So you put your IP on this. Then port 22, that's for SSH. Then the root and your password. So I have my password here. When you click on this, it takes you to your password. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm just going to log in. See, it's logging in. So you open this uh, new terminal console. So to get started with your work. And uh, once you open this, you're going to have this. You can see on your screen. Like this, okay. So now the next thing is that uh, we're going to be installing a stack on this server. That's the first thing. Running this command and enter is going to start installing this. Okay. So you wait for it. Um, would you like to continue? You click on the yes and continue. Okay. So now it's asking you for admin email address. Okay. So at this point, you can just put any of your email. Okay, you can just put any email. Any email is okay. Okay, so I'll be using online to help at gmail.com. Okay, online to help at gmail. Sorry, there was a typo error from this mail. Okay, okay, so you click on enter. Now it's actually for port, so you just click on enter to. Accept the port that way. Okay, now it's asking for the host name. So for your host name, you just need to copy your domain name. And to do that, you go back to your to this your domain. Is our domain? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. This is it. So you copy your domain name. Yeah, and put this and uh, enter. Okay. So the solution will take about fifteen minutes. So you have to wait for about 15 minutes so it's might not be up that up to that so it's all depends on your network speed so you wait for it to install that and i'll be back after the installation is completed okay so now the installation is completed so you can copy this and once you highlight it it's going to automatically copy it okay. 
<clears throat> and open a new tab on your notepad and paste this okay so once you do this the next thing for us is to install our um power mta and to do that you're going to be using win sap in this case so you open your win sap you can download with win sap online at the same time so okay when you open your win sap you're going to log in just the same way we logged in um our credentials right here your, your password okay your ip your password with the root okay so i will be giving you the host name which is this the username is the root and uh, the password i'm going to copy the password for this so log in this and set this as yes okay so um yeah i can okay okay it's logged in now so you're going to locate your file location so i have my own file location which i'm going to be locating and going back home okay those are five Okay, then I'm going to put in this setup. I'm going to upload this file. Enter. So you wait for the transfer process to be done. Then we'll move to the next thing. So the installation is done. <clears throat> Sorry, the updating, the uploading is done. So I'm going back in here and uh, clear this. Okay. And then I'm going to install the LMT. So I'm installing this okay then enter okay the installation is done boy it shows fails because the license and the users have not been uploaded so i'm going to upload that and uh, to do this i will upload this um the user first so from here i will go back home going to the, my user so okay, this is the user usr so from this uh, you can see the us area too when you open i'm going to open the s bin yeah then i'm going to copy the whole file inside this so we have the two files here then moving here so then wait for the upload to be completed so task is done uploading then i'm going to upload my license at the same time i'm going to upload this license on the ect so now that the license is uploaded i'm going to edit my config and uh, we're going to make the best on our server i have the config file which i'm going to be giving to you if you are interested in order in buying this tutorial if you want us to set up for you and as you can see this this is port 587 open okay i'm going to save this and minimize this and going back to this and run the service pmta service pmta start okay should be okay Okay, so when you get this, don't worry, we still have other things to do on the config, like the dkim and the other things. So I'm going with this command and finding this, then, okay, and copying this, um, I'm going to be doing this, okay. So right from here, you get your dkim, so when you open this and you have your dkim here, then you can copy. Mind you, this is just a short video demonstration to show you how this works. If you will need the full course, you can get on the description below this video and reach us on my social media to order for your own tutorial course. So before we complete this, we need to add um, our Google MX record. So to add it, you can visit the Google page from here, then you can add your MX record to your domain server. Okay, so I'll be adding my MX record right here and uh, um all this has been added now so we'll go back to our config uh which is this okay then we're going to be running the bug we're going to be debugging this then um service exim stop okay then service exim stop now and now we can see our pmc has been restart and it's okay now okay let's say we restart this service pmc restart and that's okay at the same time now that everything is okay and it's been set up i'm going to send my message now so i'm going to put in my smtp credentials and information here from the config file so putting all this with the ports and let's check the test so now picking this and this is the email my email i'm going to be using and click on okay let's send a test and you can see it shows message sent completed okay now to check for this i'm going to be opening my gmail to go back to my email and refresh this and here is it as you can see it's directly in inbox so before I go i will if you like to get this tutorial course can you do all by it on the subscribe button and at the same time check the description below this video to reach us on our social media thanks for watching